Hello and welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. Today's topic is Forgotten Fillet Features, the Fillet Expert Part 2. Last week in Part 1 we saw how to add fillets using Fillet Expert. This week we're going to see how to change and remove fillets. Now before we get started let's take a look at this model. We've got several fillets at the end of the feature tree uh, where we want to put our cosmetic fillets. These first three are just uh, simple edge fillets but this last one is um, was a fillet selecting faces and as we know when you select a face every edge touching the face uh, will receive that fillet. Now I only point this out because I want to come back to it and show you what happens to it after we make some changes. So let's go make those changes. Now how do we get in there? Just uh, go into your fillet tool, find the fillet expert button just to the right of the manual button and then you'll see the add and change in corner tabs. We're interested in the change option today. Now first thing you want to notice is down at the bottom you've got existing fillets where it can group different fillets so that you can uh, select them by size. And we can see uh, this last one, the three-quarter inch, we've got the top and the bottom are, are that three-quarter inch value, but we want to change just the one on the bottom. So what can we do here? Well we can just select this one single fillet, put in our new value, and hit the resize option, and it resizes it uh, you know, based on that particular value. So continuing, continuing on with that, uh, what if I want to change all of the quarter inch fillets? And maybe I want to drop those down to uh, say 0.2, resize those very quickly, clean up uh, the intersection there. Okay, And now we want to remove this uh, interior fillet. So we just uh, use our selection uh, filter here to find all of the uh, faces that go along with those two um, uh, sets of fillets there and then just use the remove option and then it removes the fillet from our uh, selection. Okay so very quickly there I was able to uh, change one single fillet, grab a group of fillets and then remove uh, some fillets that I had selected from our model. Now, what actually happened with all this? Well, we still have several of the fillets that were created. All right, we can see how SolidWorks added the half-inch fillet uh, right after the three-quarter inch fillet. And then uh, the quarter inch is down to 0.2, and then this other one was left alone. But what about this last one? This is the one I'm interested in. Let's go take a look at this. We saw how before it was using two faces, well, as we made all those changes, we removed some of the edges that were in the selection set, and SolidWorks dropped those two faces down to all of the corresponding edges. And you can see we've got lots and lots of edges here to have to uh, deal with. We don't really have to deal with them because SolidWorks did it for us using the fillet expert. So there you go. It's been TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. We hope to see you next time.